Here's what the Lord is doing. Here's what the Lord is doing. You see, most folks, when they've been through distress or been through trouble or been through duress, and whenever things begin to improve, they just want to go back to what they were before. No, 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 no. Whenever you go through stuff, it's like a slingshot to go further. Did you hear what I said? Anybody know slingshot? Yes. You pull it like this, and the thing that's in it go further. So the pullback that we have gone through right now is a, is a propeller. Yeah, come on. It propels. Come on, somebody. And remember, the Lord, right in the midst of the, the dreariness and the, uh, and the trouble and pastors scared, bishops scared, uh, uh, folks scared across the world, God gave a revelation of a relief. Yes. Does anybody remember that? Now, it, it feels normal now. <laughs> It feels normal now, but it way it was. Normally, you should not say relief. You should say worse. That's what you should say, worse. Come on, I've been coming out of this for years. Oh, it was, how oh, it felt, how oh, it was being talked about. Are you there? Like 1,000 dead per day. Yes. Come on, in one state. Come on. Uh -huh. Th those information worse than porn. I know you never hear this in any church in the world, but I'm telling you, if you were sitting down watching that every day, you don't know you were stabbing your spirit with a dagger every day, every day, coma, coma, coma. Don't do it again. But God gave a revelation. He said, I'm going to send relief. And now you're sitting in it. Now you're sitting in it. Now you're sitting in it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This place can hold a thousand people. You might not realize know. It, it's officially all a thousand people. Are you there? But God structure it. They say you can put quarter of it in. So we can still put a lot more. Are you there? You can put one here, one here, six feet apart. If you want us to measure it, we'll measure it. And when they finish it all, 250. Cameras just scan, don't, don't show the, the mass much, but you know, just show a picture, you know, zing, just do a zing every now and then. Come on. So when you go through distress like this woman of God, you know, come back and just go normal. Like it wasn't worth it. If you just come back to what you were, you go further. Well, some time ago, a man of God came here and he prophesied. His name was Pastor White from Brazil. And he said, the Lord show me a corridor. Harvest army, re revival rise up out of the harvest army in a corridor from New York down to the south. Down to Atlanta. <laughs> That's what he said right here. Are you there? Well, listen, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Just this morning, the New Jersey Gateway Church resumed. Are you there? <laughs> Just this morning, the upstate, come on somebody, church resumed. <laughs> Are you there? I'm going to get in trouble. I heard a leader, a leading family, moved to Connecticut. So you see, east, northeast, Connecticut. So anything can happen up there. Are you there? And then you have New York. Two churches in Queens and Brooklyn merged. Come on now. So we have Connecticut. Come on now, hit me now. Then you have what? New York. Are you with me? Then you have the gateway. Come on. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And then we get a call from a man of God in Pennsylvania. Say, I'm ready to come in. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. I mean, this week, this week I'm talking. But we also already have ordained ministers there who are already looking 
Oh my God. So we have, come on, we have, come with me, come on. Connecticut, come on. New York, New Jersey. Remember, I'm talking about God's order here. It's not what we're trying to do. Are you there? Pennsylvania, am I right? Then Virginia, yes. we already have a man of God who was a member right here. Who is the leader of several churches there? He's an apostle. He was a leader right here. And God raised him up. He's an apostle of several churches there. His wife is a prophetess. His children are musicians. Right in Virginia. Come on, somebody. Are you there? Mm -hmm. Then in the Carolinas, we have Harvest Army ordained ministers. There. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then in Georgia, you're not talking to me, somebody. <laughs> we have three churches there. All the way down to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then Fort Lauderdale in Florida was where the first revelation came of Harvest Army. Come on. So the revelation remained intact. So you have Florida. Anybody coming with me? You're not getting it. You're not getting it. Come on, somebody. So you have Connecticut, New York, come on, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Georgia. No, I'm, I'm Carolinas, Georgia, Florida. No, there are some between, between and whatever. You, can, you know, you go, we can go up to Maine and all kind of a stuff. You know, in between here. But this was prophesied right here. That's what's coming. It's going to be bigger than a church. It's going to be bigger than New York and Atlanta. Are you there? Is a corridor of revival. Now, this part of America is the largest population in the country. That part. And it's one of, one of the largest population in the world of any region. <laughs> Are you there? And we can say more about that. Somebody say, God is good. Somebody say, God is good. Somebody say, God is good. I'm going to ask you to stand one more time. And I want us to take a few minutes, a few seconds rather, and thank the Lord for sparing us. Come on. We want to thank the Lord for sparing us. I want you to take 60 seconds and thank him. We cried out to the Lord and he spared us. We give condolence to all those who had relatives and friends who passed. But we also want to thank the Lord for sparing us right across the world right across the world all the continents of the world where the army is across the world nobody passed nobody in the movement passed no branch no affiliate nobody passed in one country over a hundred churches nobody passed no, we got to give you our thanks. We don't want to get in trouble with God. We don't want to get in trouble with God. We got to thank Him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you thanks, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so full and so free. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, Deliver thyself. Deliver thyself. Deliver thyself. 
I hear the Lord saying, this is not the kind of word I don't want to minister. But I hear the Lord saying, deliver thyself, O Zion. Zechariah 2 verse 7. He said, deliver thyself, O Zion. That dwelleth with the daughters of Babylon. I can't be long. Some of what I'm going to say, I'm just going to read it off. But I hear the Lord say, deliver thyself, O Zion. Somebody said, deliver thyself, O Zion. Somebody said, deliver thyself, O Zion. One more time, deliver thyself, O Zion. Turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. <clears throat> mm, and I'm, I'm just going to read. She's not the way I normally minister, but I'm led to do it this way. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. He says... And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and the power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Somebody say power of God. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. There is a thing called the wisdom of this world. It's very logical, it's very skillful, it's very academic, it's very scientific, it's very, you know. But it's called the wisdom of this world. <clears throat> if that's where you stop, then you have a problem. How be we speak the wisdom among them that are perfect, yea, not the wisdom of this world, nor the wisdom of the princes of the world. Princes here mean leaders, uh, countries, uh, kings and princes and prime ministers and presidents. It says not the wisdom of the presidents. Are you there? Not the wisdom of the governors. Are you there? Are you with me here? Not now. The uh, that come to naught. Wow. Why? Verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. The God wisdom is not the normal wisdom. It's not the scientific wisdom. Even though we're not against scientific wisdom. No? The God wisdom is a mystery. So you see, a lot of folks just fight against mystery. All they can work out and then as they go through the Bible, it's just a logical way to look at the Bible. Are you there? But God said, that wisdom, what comes to what? Not. Come on, you read it. That come, comes to what? Even though it seems logical, seem academic, come on, it what comes to not. <laughs> come on now. He said, but we speak the wisdom of God, you know what? In the mystery, come on, but you know, even the hidden. So it's mysterious. <laughs> come on. And it's hidden. All we wise men in the pulpit with all our philosophy. Come on, and our skill and our come on, 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 come Hidden, read it me, which God ordained before the world unto his glory. <laughs> this thing is before we. Read it me, come on now. Which none of the princes, that's the leaders of the world, the politicians of this world, knew. For had they known it, they would not have what? Crucified the Lord of glory. Like, oh, they're getting to crucify us right now. Read it me. But as it is written, I have not seen my God, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Woo! Verse 10. But God hath revealed them unto us. Somebody say us. Somebody say us. Somebody say us. Ooh, makatabaka. So the mystery is revealed unto who? Read on by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the deep 
So we discover it is mysterious, then it's hidden, come on, then it's deep. Ooh, my God, my God. Somebody called you and said, oh, this is, this is that, ah, it must be mysterious. He then deep. Read on, read on, read on. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man, <laughs> which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Read on, verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. Wow. So the worldly wisdom actually is a spirit. <laughs> Read on. But the spirit, which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Wow. Read on. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth. Come in. Comparing spiritual things is spiritual. Read on. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. So we notice something about the, the, the godly wisdom. Come on, it, 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 come on. it is mysterious. Then it's what? Hidden. Come on. Then is deep. Huh. And it must be discerned. My God of mercy. So Paul says, I speak not with the wisdom of man. Come on. With the wisdom of God. Read, read the last verse. Verse, verse 52, last verses. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Yet he himself hmm, is judge of no man. For who had known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Somebody said, deliver thyself, O Zion. The Lord revealed to me some good people that need deliverance from some spirits. Some good people. Good people. I've been to church on the mission field. Big church, big church, small churches. And I see servants of God in the church good people and the Lord revealed to me that they need a deliverance from something but I didn't have the nerve to deal with it I left it shake the hand after church and then go home I go to the hotel come on somebody I got to be rebuked by God all night And the Lord want me to speak this today to deliver thyself. There are things that you're going to have to deliver yourself about. Because people like me are going to leave you and say, no, you're a minister. So I, I, I'm not going to say nothing. People like me are not going to have the nerve to deal with it. I, you're going to be left with it. Never, never depend totally on ministers, no matter who they are. You have to minister to yourself. Yes. You have to catch when something needs attention. You have to catch when he says, okay. But between you and the Holy Ghost, he says, not okay. I'm, I'm going to deal with it. So I said, deliver thyself. So I said, in the name of Jesus. I will deliver myself. The first spirit the Lord bid me to tell the church to deliver themselves is from the spirit of error. The Bible said in 1 John 4 and verse 5, it says, now we, we just finished talking about the world, the spirit of the world, am I right? It says in verse 5, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. 
But verse 6 of 1 John 4, but we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. Did we speak a while ago in 1 Corinthians 2 about us? Hmm. Hmm. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The spirit of error. And we can't go deep into it. But the spirit of error manifests itself when things happen which are bizarre. It does not fit. Are you there? Sometimes somebody will bring something to you and it seems plausible. It seems plausible. But among the other things that they believe in is going to be something to show them up. Somebody may come and say, well, once you're saved, you're always saved. Don't worry about it. Are you there? And there are even some people in believing who believe that once you're saved, you're always saved, and they're going to go to heaven. Let me tell you why they're going to go to heaven. When they tell you once you're saved, you're always saved, they go home and pray every day. <laughs> they ask him forgiveness every day since this COVID happened. They can lie to me. They can look at me and lie. <laughs> they say, Lord, forgive me. But they already say, Lord, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Are you there? But this is how you discover it. They may, they may believe in something that seems harmless, but ask what else they believe in. They say, okay, once they've always saved, but then they discover they believe that there is no prophecy. While even atheists are acknowledging the fulfillment of prophecy and say, I'm going to get saved right now. And whenever you look at a fulfilled, prophe a fulfilled prophecy and the night, the Bible classifies you as a false witness. Oh, the God sent me. A false witness is worse than a false prophet. For a false prophet can genuinely come to the wrong conclusion. But a false witness look at a simple fulfillment. <laughs> I said there's no prophecy. It's a false witness. So while you may let them off in one doctrine, are you with me somebody? They discover, oh, the same people believe that they don't believe in prophecy. Then the same people believe that it is not mandatory to pay tithes and offering. You don't have to, you don't have to pay tithes and offering. Are you there? Then the same person don't believe in miracles. Then the same person don't believe in the blood of Jesus. You don't need blood covering. Are you there? Are you following me? They grab you with one. That's all they entice you. But you want to know the rest. And once you know the rest, because listen, God. People who, people who missed their way had a lot of opportunity to not do so. Because God is so much, God is so good. And if you look at all, even though it's your aunt or it's your uncle, you say, oh, could they believe in so much wrong things? Anybody ever heard of the black Jews? Yes. Now, a lot of black folks go that way because they feel suppressed. They feel like, well, you know, we are, we are not getting equal opportunity and, you know, they say we, the law enforcement might, you know, they kill us more, etc., etc. Are you there? Are you there? So you can kind of understand why some run to it, even though it's false. Are you there? But then you discover, watch me now, they discover they believe that Jesus is not the son of God. Holy Ghost, help me. Are you praying for me? Come on, somebody. Yeah, I'm a black man and... I don't like how they're treating me. I'm not going to attend their thing. But when you go there, they believe Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. <laughs> it's I'm black, I'm still going to stay. Are you with me, somebody? They don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. When I meet them, I don't talk nothing about black. I said, Jesus is God Almighty. Come on, somebody. For God Almighty said, Thy throne, O God. Uh, remain it forever. I could be black like fire coal. I am leaving because Jesus Christ 
Come on, somebody. Is the son, are you with me, somebody? Don't let them off. You want to know the whole council. Because they're going to get you with what fit you. My God of mercy. Spirit of error. I rebuke it. Come on. Help me here. Rebu begin to rebuke it. I rebuke it from off me. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke it from off me. Yes. Those things that you're under duress because you're under duress. You bow. Because you upset yourself over the church. You upset over something. They didn't put me on the choir. They didn't let me lead the choir. Come on, somebody say upset because you're a human being. And they see that you're upset. They see that you're disappointed. Come on. And they come and get to say, and look, look, look how they miss you. Look how they skip you. And that kind of reverberate to you. But you don't see that when you go over to them. Come on, somebody, you can't cover yourself under the blood no more. You can't sing no more. If you're a woman, you can't preach no more. Come on, so you can't pay tithes no more. The next five years, you're going to owe five years of tithes. How are you going to pay it? Holy Ghost, yeah, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Are you there, somebody? Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of error from off me. It may be convenient, it may be helpful in one way or the other. My God, it may come from my uncle, it may come from my employer, it may come from my friend. But no, I rebuke it because it's a spirit. Someone said, Deliver thyself, O oh Zion. The second spirit we talk about already is the spirit of the world spirit of the world the spirit of the world everybody's taken up by first Corinthians 2 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world it's a demon but the spirit which is of God that we might know the thing that are freely given to us verse 6 says not the wisdom of the world nor the princes of the world that come to know remember one governor right here when when relief began to come say it's not from god come on somebody here glory to god glory to god glory to god you're so overwhelmed by television that's the spirit of the world you may watch a little come on but you're overwhelmed by it it's the spirit of the world. Come on, somebody here. You can't be like me, but, but I'm almost like David Wilkerson. I don't reach it, but I am a born most of them. Come on, somebody. All I watch and hear is, is music choice. <laughs> and, 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 and they don't show nothing. All these play gospel music. And when I'm passing and my wife watching the news, I say, okay. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. The spirit of the world don't go take no longer by it. That's why God used David because he's so mighty. Never have a TV. Spirit of the world. Spirit of the world. Spirit of the world. Mm. Every biz, everything going on, every new shopping place want you as members. You're not just a shopper. You're not just a customer walking and buy what you want to buy and walk out. They want to make you a member. Come on, someone, it feels so good. I'm one of them. I don't realize that there are other things happen. Obligations come. You don't realize you're under surveillance than before. You don't, you don't realize that they are studying your attitude, studying your movement, studying what you buy and how you buy and where you buy, etc. etc. You say, it's nothing, it's nothing. You know, I pay 10% less. You know, that's the spirit of the world. Glory to God. I'm not saying refuse everything. But you're gonna discern yes. somebody, security systems in your in your home. Everybody into security right now. And everybody got some security at their door and a camera at their door. You know, and it, you know, and you say, Bishop, what happened to you, Bishop? We need security, we need protection. What if an intruder come to my door? Come on, I can see him and on the job, I'll go on my, my phone and I can see the intruder at the door. No, no, it's not like that. You have to be discerning. 
Even recently they discovered that there was a hack. It was hacked. Come on, the, 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 the door security was hacked. And all the information of all who have door security is already known. Come on, someone. See, you know what the spirit, I mean, I told you, I'm not saying leave yourself unsecure. But the word is you gotta be discerning. You gotta know what to lock out. Spirit of the world. Spirit of the world. Yeah. Spirit of the world. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You're not going to be overwhelmed by the spirit of the world. They can't corner you because of convenience. They're not going to corner you because it's beneficial in one form or the other. Oh, it's the spirit of the world. Even in the thing that they call community watch, that we all want to be a part of. And don't know that it's just the beginning of the future uh, of people watching their their own neighbors, uncle watching nephew and niece and vice versa. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna turn into a snitching campaign. Yes, it's a spirit, the spirit of the world. Glory to God. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Somebody said, deliver thyself. Somebody said, deliver thyself. O Zion. So I rebuke the spirit of error. I rebuke the spirit of the world. Jesus. Number three. This one, this one is, is in Habakkuk chapter two. And not too long ago, we speak a word called reject the internet. Now we know it's tough. But we spoke the word. Glory to God. The third word is the spirit of the dragnet the dragnet the spirit of the dragnet god god led me to speak on you can we can speak about 30 different kind of strongholds and spoke but god led me to deal with these five the spirit of the dragnet it's connected to the internet but the internet is just part of it habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 16 he says, therefore they sacrifice unto their net hmm, and burn incense unto their drag because by them their portion is fat and their meat plenteous. Verse 17. Shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continually to slay the nations? What is the dragnet? The dragnet is where they are found. It's close to the spirit of the world where they have found a way to drag every information about you into their system to come back and come on, come on, and intimidate you with it, to hurt you with it, to blackmail you with it. Yes, is the spirit of the dragon is right there. But what is noticeable in Habakkuk chapter 2 is not only a dragnet to get all your information, they have declared it a God. Listen, if you are taken by the internet that you can't get off it, you have submitted yourself unto a digital God. You just heard it right here. You just heard it right here. That they sacrifice unto the net oh glory to god be careful with the internet there there are people i call allies they are allies of the internet some are what i call agents of the internet everything is a everything is a they defend the internet for everything there are those i called advocates and they are those I call assassins some folks do a, a lot of assassination on the internet anybody heard of that but the advocates is what I want to talk about because there are many church folks who think that they can replace the in-person church come on with the internet with the dragnet and it's good to have an internet ministry. But you have an internet ministry because you already have a church ministry. So it's an extension of your church ministry. 
I don't mean you are the pastor. You are a brother in the church and you are faithful in your church. I mean somebody. But you, you carry on the work of your church on the internet. So that you're not totally dependent on it. I you with me somebody? You are an extension. That internet ministry is an extension of your church. If you're not faithful in church and have an internet ministry, you are just an advocate of the internet. You are just an advocate of a God that they have put on us because they discover that we can't do without it. I'm I getting true to somebody. I'm trying to help somebody here. I'm trying to listen to me. If you don't get it, if you have an internet ministry and don't be faithful in the church, you will come to naught. Not only will you come to naught, you are operating under the spirit of idolatry. You, you, you just heard it right here. They sacrifice unto the net. Are you there? Internet ministry. Without faithfulness to a church, you will come to naught. Not only will you come to naught, you are operating under a curse of idolatry. Because the church is the first place. Jesus says, upon this rock, come on, help me here, somebody. I will what? Build my church. Somebody help me, somebody. And the gates of hell. Somebody help me here. Cannot prevail against it. Come on, somebody. So if you think that there's no good church and you can only do internet, that means that you're saying that God lied. God said I build my church. So if God said I build my church, it means my church must be here. Come on, somebody. There are God's churches here. Watch me now. But if you find none, if you're, if you're sure there is none, start one. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God. Since you have it all right, start one. But you must be in one. Come on, somebody. No matter how much you're on the internet and you're not in an in-person church, come on, you're operating. Come on, somebody. Under a curse of idolatry, I ain't going to heaven. My God, my God. I'm saying everything. You ain't going to heaven. You could be doing well on the internet. Unconnected to a church. You're not in a church. You ain't attending church. That God said, I did. I'm not talking about how they saw me church. I said, a church. God's church. And if you find none, start one. You don't have to be the pastor. You can start it and call somebody who you believe in to be the pastor. Wow. Come on. So be very careful. I'm helping some folks here. I'm helping some folks all across the world. Who think you can replace an in-person church? We have folks fellowship together and you can and you can replace it with the internet replace it with the digital god replace it my god of mercy here yeah. with the drug net replace it with the platform made by lucifer to conquer mankind Let me read the last part of this verse. The spirit of the dragon. Shall they therefore empty the internet? Hear this. And not spear continually to slay the nations. That's the plot. The nation that you are trying to reach. Because the Bible said in Matthew 24, 14. It said this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. Throughout the world. Lord, unto what? Lord? All what? nations so if you're on the internet the bible said the internet is designed to slay the nations and go ahead with your internet ministry it won't be for long it's going to be for a while it won't be for but go ahead with it but if you're out of a church fix it we're not condemning nobody i don't believe in that we're not damning no more just fix it find yourself in a bible believing church 
be a part of the church. Pay your offering, pay your tithes. Submit yourself unto a pastor who will correct you sometimes. Yes. And who will encourage you sometimes. Such as such. Yes, go ahead and have your ministry. But make sure that you're under correction. You're under guidance. You're under counsel. Lord God. If not, if not, <laughs> you are just an advocate being used by Satan. Having a guise of spirituality. But when he's finished, he's going to finish you. You'll come to naught and he'll finish you. And you'll find yourself operating on your curse. Fix it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of the dragnet. I rebuke the spirit of the internet. Now, in the internet, there's some of you, you got to do business through the internet. You might, you might be an entrepreneur, a business person, and you use it for your business. But that's it. Come on, you can't get into the drug. You can't get into the net. And I, I will tell every child of God to trim your time on the net. I'm working on it. I'm working on, I'm on it just once per week now. I'm working on God help me to get off totally. Glory to God. But I'm working on it. Once per week, come on right now. Just for church time, church work. Glory to God. But do, if you can't do that, come on, trim something. Time yourself. And say, no, it's not going to totally control me. Ah, because it's designed to be a God to mankind and to slay the nations. Someone said, deliver thyself. O oh, Zion. So we talk about the spirit of error, spirit of the world, spirit of dragnet. Number four, the spirit of the cities. <laughs> uh -huh. Spirit of the cities. Yeah. The Bible is very rough on cities in the Bible. Very rough. And I don't like it because I love cities. I don't like bushes. I like cities. I want to live one block from Square. Ask my wife. She don't like it, but I like it. I like to walk out and walk right in the square. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I don't like bushes, man. Driving on dark roads. Come on, somebody. Oh my God, I say, hey! But I have to watch myself. Come on, somebody. It's not what I like. Come on. Behave the thing called the spirit of the cities. That's why when trouble come, no matter where it start, it could start in the corner of China. It still come to what? The cities. And the bigger the city, the more people live there, the more popular is the more what come from the east. Come on, go 10,000 miles and, and the city become the hot spot. Come on. Whether it's unrest, but start in some bushes of Minnesota. You don't want any help here, somebody. It come and come on and the unrest. Come on. Come to the city and become are you there? Am I reaching somebody? Don't fight me now. Because there's a thing called a spirit of the cities. I let it off. Is that you guilty me first? Get off me. Get off me. Your city stronghold. Get off me. I bind you and I expel you. Get off my mind. Get off my preference. Get off me. The spirit of the cities. I rebuke you off me. Get off me. In the name of Jesus. I discovered that there are some people like me right in the audience here. <laughs> Cause they ain't saying nothing. They ain't saying nothing. Listen, let me tell you something. The thing in the city that they call the throng. What is the throng? People believe that they are strong because they have a throng. They can only have a crowd. Those guys go on the road and they take up a big stone and throw in the and throw in the in, in the businesses. And they do it not because they are brave, but because they have a crowd. They have like ten more men with them. Are you there? Come on, sir. You know, come on, by themselves they would run. Come on, somebody. Some, some of those same men who throw stones in building, if they see a cockroach, they run from it. 
come on somebody but the throng the crowd come on let them feel come on somebody glory to god so they just want to do bad they just want to vandalize come on somebody i hear somebody it's a thong that's why the cities always have the mob that's where the mob come from not because they are might everybody afraid of mob but the mobsters by themselves are cowards but the throng of the city come on we can do bad and hide come on come on am i communicating am i communicating the popularity the one anybody remember the tower of babel every person was building the tower of babel were some weak hearts come on somebody were some cowards but they came together and they said let's build let's build let's build and they begin to build and build and discover that when they work together because they have the crowd because they have the crowd they despise god and believe in the crowd and believe in the throng and believe in the mob that's why cities hate god so much because they believe in the crowd i don't know, I don't know if i'm communicating come on somebody glory to god glory to god glory to god sorry buke it in the name of jesus now let me give you a verse revelation 18 verse 2 and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon the great is fallen and it's become the habitation of devils i told you and the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird that's it that's it and number five so hit me. what's the first four right now someone said delivered ourselves someone said delivered ourselves oh zion someone said delivered ourselves oh zion what's the first one the spirit of the era number two the spirit of what the world number three what the spirit of the dragnet number four the spirit of the cities number five or not the spirit of pride spirit of pride because some some of you watching or in this room, what I tell you right now, you're dismissing it. It's okay, Bishop, preaching long this evening, you know, and you're not you know, dismissing it. If you dismiss this evening, you're going to have a lot of trouble. You're going to have a lot of trouble. And this, these spirits I'm talking about, come on, are attacking good people, anointed men, bishops, pastors, apostles, teachers. They're doing well. Ha! Listen! Lot, God says, was a man of God. Come on. Come on, somebody. A righteous man of God. But he missed his way. Moses was a mighty man of God. But he did not glorify God at one point when he should. Are you there me, somebody? We must be able to recognize. You see, I don't see in the Bible where Moses quickly recognizes wrong. Come on, even though it's a mighty man of God. Are you there me, somebody? Glory to God. This spirit of error, the spirit of the world, the spirit of the dragnet, the spirit of the city. The spirit of pride. The spirit of pride will cause you to overlook what you hear this evening. The spirit of pride will think it's somebody else across the room and not me to deal with it. The spirit of pride, the Bible says, the Bible says in Proverbs 16, 18, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 29, 23, a man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Let me tell you how to know if the spirit of pride is upon you. Let me tell you how I know if the spirit of pride is upon me. I snap at correction. I snap at correction. I'm, I, you know, that's what they just snap. Nice people, and as they corrected, they just fly off the handle. Spirit of pride. That's what it is. Spirit of pride. Some 
they never remember those who help them get where they are even those who send them on the mission field they go and they never remember they come back high in pride i don't remember that mother jane who's 90 year old gave me 50 dollars they went up to mother jane and said mother jane thank you forget everybody else but remember mother jane who is 90. but now i'm mighty now i'm mighty I, 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 i've been to south africa you know i have my bachelor's degree now i don't remember when that grandmama gave me 50 dollars that's pride conceited begin to become self absorbed I insult you and don't even know are you there come on I insult you and don't even know and if you bring it to my attention I'm gonna fly down come on somebody and some folk get so accustomed to it they do it daily that they don't realize that they have been doing that to that person every day and if somebody bring it to their attention so uh, that's pride you always look at how you deal with people am i overdoing am i undermining the person come on somebody and if somebody say to you i don't like how you say that thing maybe they're overdoing it but just humble yourself and say i'm sorry try to change there's a way in which our bad habits can become normal and we don't even know it because you work for me and you get your salary from me every week i don't realize that i'm treating you less because i pay you are you there somebody especially when you're in leadership especially when you you know you have accomplished something you have to watch pride that's why it's mighty people go down come on somebody here glory to god being respectful to your spouse and don't even realize because she don't say nothing she don't say nothing she say okay honey you know i don't realize that every day you're being disrespectful to your spouse and if your spouse ever bring it up it's divorce come on somebody you there spirit of pride uncorrected so because you're like that nobody don't correct you yeah, yeah. did you know to be uncorrected is a curse to be un listen if you don't get correction life for about three months you better pray you know what some time ago a secretary came to me and said bishop why you won't correct me it's a smart woman come on somebody glory to god he can choose that to correct you because if he correct you Come on, somebody, you gonna step down. Shiki Baba. Stand up, everybody. Ragaba Shakataraba. Shaka Baba Basa. Ragaba Sakataya. Mashaka Baba Baba. Mashakatayaman. Ragaba Baba. I want you all everybody right now. This thing, you know, this thing I want to really minister it properly. I say, the Lord show me stay. Some good people I see go down. Some good people, some good people, come some good people I see go down. Good for 10 years, 15, even 20. And then, then a spirit took them. A spirit took them, Reverend. They didn't get it. The pastor tried to give them a hint, they get upset. Come on, and want to go destroy the pastor because he tried to help them, because he loved them. He don't want to see they break down. I've seen it over and over. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's all pray right now. Rebuke these five spirits from our lives. I'm not preaching, preaching to nobody. I'm preaching to us all. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Anybody feel offended by what? Preach. Don't take offense. Take love. It's all preach. Take love. It's all preach because of love. My God, the more offended you feel, the more loved you are. Yes, it is. Yes. I've seen, I've seen too many great people go down. I've seen too many great people go down. And the Lord said, we'll release this. Yes, listen, listen. Decide to, decide to war of that, war against that stronghold. The spirit from all of your life. These particular fire. Begin to war right now. Begin to war right now. Come on now. Begin to war right now. Jesus. Jesus. Ragabasa. Magarabagasa. 
I rebuke the spirit of error from off me. I command your spirit of error. I rebuke you. I command it depart from me. Depart from my mind. Depart from my spirit. Your spirit of error. I will not live in error. I will not minister in error. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will not operate in error. Spirit of the world, I rebuke you. Depart from me. The norms of the world will not become normal with me. The spirit of the drug net. I'll not be a servant of the net. Yeah, I will use it, but I'll not be a servant of the net. I'll not be an ally of the net, an agent, an assassin of the net. I'll not be an advocate of the net. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Get off me. Get off me. Spirit of the drug net. Get out of my life. Get off my life. The spirit of the cities. The spirit of the cities. The spirit of the cities. Come out of my life. Get out of my mind. Get off me. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of pride. The spirit of pride. I rebuke you. Depart from me. Depart from me. Depart from me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I long to be perfectly whole. I want thee forever to reign in my soul. Break down every hide, cast out every foe. Lord, wash me and I. Shall be wider. And so, let me refine something here. A child of God who knows God cannot be possessed by a spirit. But you can be influenced. You can be oppressed. You can be obsessed. Are you there? And sometimes the symptoms are the same as if you are possessed. Now, there are exceptions where you can be possessed. If you're involved in immorality or divination or rebellion, then you can be possessed. But a child of God, as you pray, you're not commanding it out of you. Off you. Are you there? Off you. Get it off me. Come off me. Come off my mind. Are you there? Get off me. Shake it off. <laughs> you can't even run it. Throw it, throw it off. Are you there, somebody? Lord, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow, whiter than snow, whiter than snow. Lord, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. When you leave here, you're going to miss it to yourself some more. But here's how you do it. First, you acknowledge it. You acknowledge it. Remember, remember that Daniel acknowledged stuff that he didn't even do. Woo! You say, I have sinned. You acknowledge, number one. Number two, consecrate. Go in fasting and prayer. In fasting and prayer. Go, no, do go into some fasting and prayer. Then repent, 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 repent of it all. All I say is not you repent. Then watch me now. Then you submit to somebody to help you. You submit. That's where most people miss. You can clarify what you didn't see and say you need a little more. Let's do one week more. I work on this a little more. Give me somebody. Glory to God. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise his mighty name. Anybody who need help in any of these spirits, come on, stand right now. Five, five six feet apart. Anybody need help in any of these spirits? Sometimes you just need help. 
Anybody need help? Any of these spirits? Anybody need help? Come on, stand. Five feet apart. Six feet apart. My God, need help. Man. Sometimes I just need help. Sometimes I just need help. A good person just need help. Marabakasha. Ragabashandas. Stand six feet apart. Mangarabaka. One shall chase a thousand. And two shall put ten thousand to fly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Father, in your hand right now. Mandakataba. I place these your people. Ah! Glory to God. You said, Lord, in, in Joel 2, you said, gather the people. You said, gather the people. Lord, and you said, gather the people. Then you said, pray to spear thy people. And Lord, we have seen it before our eyes. And these are the people that stand before you right now. And the enemy want to disturb and destroy and to damage and to distract with strongholds, with spirits, demons. Ah, oh, but I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. I command every demon, every stronghold to depart. Depart from their mind, depart from their spirit, depart from their body. In the name of Jesus, I command this, the, 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 the spirit of error. Ooh, those watching the same. In the name of, I, I command the spirit of error to go. I bind you and cast you out of your life. The spirit of the world. The spirit of the dragnet. The spirit of the cities and the spirit of pride. I bind and I cast out of their life. Out of their mind. Out of their activities. Out of their hearts. I command to go in the name of Jesus. And I speak deliverance. 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 I release deliverance. In the name of Jesus, I release deliverance upon God's chosen now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For it's written, what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Because it's written, I give you power to tread on serpents. And over all the power power of the enemy I tread on your devil you demons you hateful birds you strongholds you legions I cast you out now in the name of Jesus 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 for he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved in my name you shall cast out devils I cast you out in the name of Jesus, you'll have no place in their life, no place in their minds, no place in their activities. 